Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys channel. Okay, um, exciting, exciting. Another round of new arrivals from Mini GT. Uh, this week, just one week before the uh, Lunar New Year, came four, one, two, three, four, five, five variants actually. So, the Corvette um, Z06, okay, number 477, the Hyundai Kona N, Sonic Blue, 454. And then the Bentley Continental GT Speed 473. Recently, they are making a couple more of these, right? We just got this, I think, last week or two weeks ago. And uh, one more would be the Alpina B7X Drive. So I'm wondering how different is this compared to um, the 7 Series. Okay, that, uh, yeah, this is the Alpina version. So, hmm, interesting. But uh, not in this video. Okay, probably in the next video, uh, I'll maybe do one whole compare, uh, one whole release uh, video like I did with the recent uh, Mini GT version, uh, Mini GT arrivals. Okay, so this time around, I want to focus more on this, this guy, this guy here. Okay, so yeah, a few people have been asking me about this, and uh, only now I realize I did not do a YouTube review for this. The more art. Modern art, yep. The modern art, um, Scania trailer, all right, for the Liberty Walk truck. So I don't know if this has Liberty Walk license. Um, maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. So this has been out for some time now, and uh, oh, I think since October, September. I think it's out in touch our hand, arrive in our hands in September. I think. And I actually did a live unboxing, so I I did a live unboxing, so that's why I did not do um, a YouTube review of it. Um, so finally, all right. So I'll do a quick uh, recap of what I actually showed um, during the YouTube review, right? So this one, the function is a little bit different compared to the Mini GT version. Um, we can say it's different. This is not the first time Modern Art has done this layout. This is actually a double decker, okay. Um, I think what I'll do is I will put a link to the live live unboxing session and um, I'll give it a timestamp as well so they can actually fast forward to that face sorry the Facebook live uh, session I think that will help me shorten this video a little bit more right since I already showed it there however certain things I want to highlight though the one that I've unboxed in um, during the Facebook live right I seems to be I seem to be quite lucky I don't have any QC issues but since then uh, I've had a couple of these passing through our hands and um, I can tell you the build quality is uh, uh, okay so pretty much almost each and every one of them do have a little bit of QC issue here and there as build issues uh, as well um, overall build quality actually it is quite fine I'm gonna move the camera so I think it gives you a better view of uh, this entire item. Um, overall, actually, it's pretty solid. It's die cast, okay? Um, the idea is pretty cool. Uh, you can open up left and right, okay, on both sides. Okay, I already have it open up. Um, it is actually uh, using somewhat hydraulics. You see the black color legs there? Okay, the black color legs or black color support. All right, so these are actually hydraulic. You see how it's connected to the top door here? However, it's actually loose. All right, it's actually loose, and you gotta hold it up using this transparent clip up here. Okay, which uh, they give it, you know, they give it to you. Okay, and um, so what happened is quite a few, two actually, two two of the ones that that went through our hands, right? You see this? This is not connected to anything. All right, so it's pretty annoying. All right, it's pretty annoying um, that that this kind of thing happens. So not just not just this. This is this is supposed to to be connected up there. So not just that. This these hinge here. Okay, one, two, three, and four. All right, these are actually the elbows. Yep, I'm just gonna call them elbows, right? To this to this um great looking gull wing okay all right that it opens up like that right it looks pretty cool right yeah but um quite often right these are not glued on proper as well 
uh, it looks like it's rivet, but uh, I believe it's glue. So, you know, when you glue metal parts and probably they didn't use metal glue. Um, so, yeah, right? It's very questionable uh, the, the way they have, they have kind of built this. Well, idea the idea is great, but the execution, um, that's a little bit of question, you know, questionable. Okay, and another thing that oh, a couple of our customers did point out as well. The artwork on the box, right, does seem like it's pixelated. It's not even a high-res photo that they have used uh, on on this, um, on the packaging. So we're wondering, you know, I was wondering maybe this is, yeah, someone took a shortcut and uh, not a good one, all right? Because this is probably a 3D rendering. And if it's a 3D rendering, right, they could have just gotten it um, rendered in a, in a high quality PNG or J, uh, probably not JPEG, probably in a PNG or, or in an AI file, right? Or a PDF file. <laughs> However, no, they just went ahead and print this out and you can see it's yeah, pixelated. Okay. However, on the truck itself, okay, on the truck itself, it seems to look fine. Okay. It seems looks okay. I wouldn't say it looked great, but it looks okay. All right, so I do have this unit already displayed for uh, for some time, uh, for a couple of months already. So people do quite like it actually. Um, they do ask me about, about this unit. However, unfortunately, um, the one I have left, uh, the ones with issues, for example here. Now, what happened here is, while I do quite like, you know how this actually extends out, it becomes very realistic, right? However, you see how this is already bent. This is bent, and um, yeah, this is yeah, this is not sticked on. So when this is not glued on properly, right? Probably it, it was glued on and then it came off, and then it was closed. Okay, we can close this. I can still close this, right? No, maybe not with one hand. I can actually close this, right? And um, probably because this is not glued on, then everything gets stuck together. Stuck together. So when it's being transported. It keeps uh, knock it, knocking into itself, hence the bent. Alright, so the other thing that I want to highlight is um, this is actually the previous Mini GT release. I'm just going to get it out. No, it did not come with a car. Okay, it's a separate thing. This is actually a double decker um, transporter. So there are actually small parts, um, small hinge. Okay, that, that you will need to lift this up. Okay, lift this up, all right, in front and back. And then you have to poke it in, poke it in, poke it on the other side as well. And it becomes, and it becomes um, the uh, support for the double decker. Okay, all right. Now I want to show you the truck. And uh, I think I need to put you on the, I need to put you on my handphone holder, all right. Just gonna put you on my holder for a bit while I show you the truck. Okay, so I need to get this out now. While since I'm taking this out, right, I want to show you this part. I think they're quite clever. Um, hang on, there's actually the legs down here, which you can pull support. I'm just gonna put legs. There, we got the support down. Okay, we have the support down, and then it will sit quite nicely, quite stable that way. So that is actually pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna check out the truck, the Scania S um, seven two zero. I think is it seven two zero or seven two zero S? I've forgotten the official code. Anyway, not bad. I got a sense, I have a sense that uh, I'm going to take a guess that this is probably the same um, same factory as the Kang Fai and the uh, Modern Art. I don't think it's the same factory as the GCD. Okay, but they do look quite identical. So side mirrors, um, the these are side mirrors, pretty detailed. This is also a mirror, but I don't know what's the name of this mirror. This is to, to check, you know, there's a blind spot here. Okay, I guess it's for parking. 
um, probably not probably not much cameras on on this particular model hence there are so many mirrors to it this this mirror actually helps the driver check the front of the truck okay more side mirrors here now oh the the other issue the the uh, that i have with this unit right is this you see this you see this skirt down here this is actually a skirting right all right yeah that, that's there's a piece that that is not now I found it in the box. Okay, it's supposed to go on the other side. Like that. Okay, so the other smart thing about them is steerable front uh, wheels. Okay, and this kangaroo bar is actually removable by screws, right? You know, either this way. This is actually if you need to 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 check the engine, right? Otherwise, if you want to remove it, yep, you can actually unscrew it and remove it. Okay, if I'm going to keep it on, you have to... Put it down and you can actually lift the cap okay now this is actually not bad all right with the uh the engine details uh, underneath so this is actually quite nice for its price all right all right what else Ooh. okay right so details wise build quality that's the thing the build quality seems to be quite okay it's just that all these little parts right um yeah they do come off and they are not connected properly um that 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 kind of really turns up turns us off quite a lot okay all right so this one done done okay done can i say it's done maybe i should just show you when it's closed right so you remove this plastic piece let you focus i'm still holding it right you remove the plastic piece and then it will just fall off okay there we go there so this one since i have you on sitting on the camera holder already right yeah see so i'm supposed to be able to close it nicely like that but i'm a little bit worried since this piece is again it's already came off I'm just going to make sure it sits nicely so that I can close it and we can do a comparison with the Mini GT version. Okay, so I'm just going to put it at the back here like that. So this would be... Oh no, I forgot. What's the number for this? <laughs> oh no! I seriously forgot the number for this. This Mini GT number... I don't know. So this is actually different. Uh, it's supposed to be different from from the other one in here. This is actually number four six five. Okay, the presentation version. Ah, okay. So this will be the formula drift version, and inside here is supposed to be the presentation version. So let me give it a bit more space. Right, definitely need much more space. Comes with a very big box. Move back for the. Okay, comes with a very big box. Very premium. As usual, the plastic wrapper, that's the front, okay. A full set, truck and car. Very nice packaging, I do quite like it. The Mercedes logo, all right. Um, no Liberty Walk logo, there's a Nissan logo as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure they do have Liberty Walk um, license. It's just they didn't show it here. So the official code is MGTS. 0004 okay which actually consists of uh number 464 the mercedes actros for lb racing and also number 465 the lb super silhouette nissan s15 sylvia presentation okay all right let's get it out of the box and uh, enjoy all right okay so in the meantime um Help me hit the like button, okay? Because that, that will help me up in the uh, the YouTube algorithms, okay? Alright, and uh, after this, do look up uh, Collector's Cube. Um, I do put up extras uh, over there for them um, to help me handle the ready stocks. I, so most of the time, all these new arrivals, right? I do order a little bit extra so that, uh, you know, there will be a little bit of, a re of a ready stock for to be for some of you guys who missed the pre-order right you can actually purchase it through collector's cube 
right they're on facebook tiktok and instagram i handle their social media right now uh they have their own website as well coldcube.com okay sorry getting a little bit oh, trying to get it out of the plastic i don't think i need to but yeah just i don't want to struggle later on and regret you know right so okay at least i got that out let me get the box out let me show you what's inside so separate i guess this is the top the trailer is it the trailer yeah yes probably this this is the trailer this is the longest part which is the top okay it doesn't say it doesn't say which is the top all right then i guess bottom has the other two separate piece oh no so it's two ice box in there just gonna put this as a backdrop in the back right should do that okay so this one is much lighter this is the bottom one it doesn't say which is top which is bottom but this i believe this is the trailer let's let's open up the trailer first does it no it doesn't yeah it doesn't say which which is up or down so tape on the side um so far the other brands that have opened trailers before right they tape on the side so this one let's see if i can just if i can just pen knife no i need to open both okay hang on hang on From, yeah from early photos from the prototype photos right mini gt1 can only open from come on from the back so let's see no it's stuck why is it stuck did i not get oh yeah i think it's stuck here yeah got stuck because they didn't tape it properly so annoying it should be out now. All right. Yep. 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 Come on, come on. So do I get it the right way up, or no? I think got a feeling I have to. Yeah. <laughs> no sign of which way up. That is what is gonna happen. But oh, surprisingly, very heavy. This is very heavy. I'm surprised. Ooh, solid. Solid. One piece die cast. Is that it? That's is it? That's the reason why it's so heavy. Ooh. This color does look so much better. Seriously. It does look a lot better than the the <coughs> modern art version. Look at that. A little bit faded, right? Yeah, this color is definitely much better. Nah. Nice. This is actually very nice. However, right, oh yeah, uh regarding the the um trailer cap. Yeah, I'm just gonna trailer cap. The more modern art did it, the Scania, okay. Um Mini GT used the Mercedes the Actros that they have over here, over here, again off camera. Um but what I understand, the actual one is actually a Mitsubishi. Alright, so on that, um, none of these, two of these brands, um, none of them got it right. So it's a single piece, you cannot open the side, alright? It's uh, concealed, okay? It's concealed, there's one hook here, the hinge I guess, but it's very small. Let's see how it's going to work with the, uh, the trailer cab, okay? Um, is this, is this adjustable no it's not it's not adjustable so is it fixed down here like that okay we'll see okay let's see how can i Ooh. okay so it can go downwards and how am i gonna how am i gonna remove it 
Ooh, I've not seen any videos or anything yet. So how am I supposed to open this? Oh no. Maybe I should have done a bit of homework, right? Oh no. Pull it down. Yep. I do see this screw here. The whole thing is so very solid though. Am I supposed to pull it off like that? Is that how it's supposed to work? No. No. I think I think yeah, I'm supposed to lift lift it up from the bottom. Right? No. I guess I do see the mechanism here. It does look like it's a little bit different. Ah, okay. What's going on? Uh no. Uh what? What just happened? Is that supposed to happen? Oh, okay. Okay, so that, I guess that wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to remove it, I think. But optional, I think, because uh, from the grooves I see here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't sorry I haven't opened it up so I don't I don't think there's any manual that came with it so yeah this this is what's supposed to happen and can I can I can I place it back in I can just place it back in right yeah okay so this I see this is what's supposed to happen okay and uh, oh okay there's some sponge on the inside I can remove this but can I remove that that sponge is it supposed to do something oh okay it's a double decker trailer as well all right can i remove this okay so it's just a small block i guess to oh okay you can see right it goes all the way in quite narrow actually and uh oh this one is just uh yeah, just a, a piece up there. I don't think... Oh, sorry. I put it upside down. So this one just goes... Oh. Right. So there's no real groove. You just need to place it on top of the... It's not... Sorry, there's no track. So yeah, you got to place the car on top of it. And uh, I don't see any grooves to hold, to hold the car in place probably you got to put black tag but then again if you put it inside right you won't be able to see the car anyway so i guess you won't be you won't be putting your car in there right so this one how is it gonna work like that ah okay right right so put it down it'll be like that interesting interesting okay okay what material is that string okay i don't know no one will, i don't know what's the name of the material but this one is plastic okay this will be plastic all right so i'll get the other box the other ice box okay let me just position the things let me just pack in there i'm gonna open up the other one Still off, uh, out of the box, it does look quite good, right? Agree? I think the trailer does look quite good. If we keep it close, right? If we keep it close, I think it's quite cool. However, with the uh, the modern art, the advantage would be that um, gull wing. That gull wing is still quite an idea. <laughs> okay, so this one is much lighter, so... Okay, let's flip it over like that. Hang on... Give me a sec. Put it out. In the meantime, help me to hit the like button, okay? Because that will help, that will help me out in the YouTube algorithms. And uh, hit the subscribe button. Two. All right. And share. Remember, help me share this video. Okay. So I got this one the right way up. So yeah, that's what I heard. Um, it will come in its own box presentation box definitely a little bit different from the the previous box <laughs> i'm yeah i've i forgotten to put them i forgotten to dig the previous bo uh, box out to show 
to show it in this video. Damn. Sorry about that. Hope you don't mind. Okay. Okay, got it out. I'm gonna just place the ice box aside. Right. Can you steer? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. At least you can steer. We get to the car later, okay? At least we can steer. Okay, left and right. Left and right. Okay. Have I done the Actros review with you guys? I think not, right? I think not. Okay, so this one, they... This Actros, they, ha they have actually released this by itself. It's just... It's, can I open it? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I can. Alright, I thought I can because I saw this, this cap here, but no. All right, no, no engine details for you. Okay, so no engine details for you. Um, that kind of lost to Modern Art. So Modern Art did a Scania um, that you can actually see the engine. All right, not bad still. Still not bad, quite realistic. Quite realistic. Build quality is quite okay, quite solid. The, the paint job, I think Mini GT did it a little bit better. A lot of side mirrors again. I guess no camera, no cameras. Uh, not much additional cameras on 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 this uh, Mercedes. Seno Pro Trucks, Actros, Liquid Moly branding, Race, Sphere Light, Sphere Light. What Sphere Light? Yeah, lot lots of lots of uh, mirrors. Okay. All right. That's the Mercedes Actros. Bad at all, actually. Okay, let's do this. Let's do a number 465. Quite nice, actually, this yellow. Don't you agree? Let's go to the back. Presentation version, red hand drive, Nissan logo. Get it out of the box. Okay. I guess this one will get quite a lot of hype, just as the the other one. Ooh. They do look the same. So let's see. Roll cage. Ah, this one has the yellow roll cage. So that is the first, um, first obvious difference. The roll cage, and what I see is the rear windscreen. Okay. The rear windscreen, I do see some difference there as well. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, from here, let me just angle it a little bit. From the top, right? Basically, they're identical. Um, uh, the front here, the windscreen sticker. This one says Formula Drift. This one has more sponsorship. Um, sponsorship logos okay that's the most i can zoom huh? so yeah this time i'm gonna put it down here for easy reference okay what else everything here i think it's the same on the hood brands brand brand brands on the hood they do look identical hug hug hotel group liquid molly that's identical is that kawaii that's identical. LB Racing, yep, pretty much identical. So the, the obvious, di obvious difference from the front would be the windscreen stickers. We'll move to the side. Left and right. Mm, let me get everybody in screen. Okay. Okay, front looks like it's exactly the same. Fender exactly the same exactly the same okay that's here there's one more branding here All right this one does it does not exist on the presentation version okay liquid molly all these are the same top eagle k&w they are the same they're the same they're the same lb tokyo they're the same 
Okay, now we go to the back. The rear wing sticker here is the same as well. Go to the back. Okay, so Formula Drift has that exhaust in the middle. Okay, up high. Liberty Walk brand underneath the spoiler. That's the same. Plates, that's the same. Liquid Molly Mini GT branding, that's the same as well. Tail lights, diffuser, exactly the same. Except from, again, the windscreen detail. So, no, they are not the same. All right, a little bit of a shot of the base. So, no, they are not the same. What does that mean? It means that you have to have both. Real wing is the same. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I'm, I am, I am quite glad that, uh, yeah, I do get both. Um, and I think there's only one. Um, this one just arrived today, the same day as the recording. So, um, as of this recording, end of the day, um, there's only one ready stock left. I'm trying to get more, um, but let's see how it goes. So. What do you think? Which one? More art or Liberty Walk? Eh, li More art or um, Mini GT? Does this work? I know that that doesn't really work. It doesn't really hook onto it. You've got to yeah pull it pull it together. Now this one, I don't think it. Does it lock? Oh okay. Ah okay. This one locks. Very solid. Very heavy. I do prefer the the color on the Mini GT version. Nice. Cool. All right. So, is that all? I think I've covered everything. So I guess that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry for the long video again. Very massive uh, diecast that I have in front of me that uh, I need a little bit more time to talk about. So remember to hit the like button. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so that I don't miss out any other other diecast videos. Um, Help me share, okay? Help me share this video as well. If you can't decide, if your friends, any of your friends can't decide whether they should get this or you should show them, you know, such a cool release from Mini GT, share it with them, share my video. Cool. All right, thank, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.